Hey guys, on this video, we're going to kill two birds with one stone. What two birds, you may ask? Well, first and foremost, the bilge in my boat is the dirtiest thing that I've ever seen. I've had this boat for, this is a fourth year now. I don't believe the guy that had that before I did ever cleaned it. I potentially have, I personally never cleaned it. I uh, picked up some bilge cleaner from thebetterboat.com. I'm going to try that out today. So how that works is you're going to add one ounce of this cleaner to every three feet of water line of water that you put in this bilge. Um, so I figure that I'm going to have about six feet of uh, water line within there because my bilge is not super huge. I'm going to add a couple ounces of this. Uh, the directions say to go out, use the boat. The natural motions of the boat will actually cause the the, the cleaner to work. Uh, degreases, uh, dissolves oil, fuel, and grease. Uh, and then when you're done uh, with your trip or whatever, you go out and you drain it. Don't, don't pump it into the lake, guys. It's not what it's for. Come back to your house. Drain it into a bucket, discard it, how your local reg regulations uh, deal with um, getting rid of oil, uh, fuel, and grease. I have a local oil shop that has agreed to take the stuff. They told me to drain it out into a container, pour kitty litter on top of it, and then once it all is clumped up, to bring the clumps and everything to them. And they would get rid of the stuff for me. So, the second thing about this video is that Misty running the camera doesn't know how to back up a boat so I thought what better way to make this happen than to she, let's face it she's gonna be backing up and going forward a few times learning how to back the boat up and that will cause the action of the bilge cleaner to work so I am going to open this up I'm going to show you what it looks like right now and it is not good looking it is rough um, there is hydraulic oil from my hydraulic jack plate in there there is two cycle oil where my, if you overfill my neck on my two stroke oil container, it actually will overflow and go into my hull. I just, something I just recently found out. Uh, there's a little crack in the hose, I have to fix that. But for right now, we're gonna clean it. Um, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. I'm going to show you the process of putting this in there. I'm not going to measure it totally out. I've, uh, you know, I can pretty much eyeball what a couple ounces is. This thing is actually 32 fluid ounces, so there's a lot of this stuff in here. So I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to fill it up with water. Uh, I'm going to put this in first and then fill it up with water. That way it dilutes it as it should. Then Misty and I are going to go over to my high school parking lot. I'm going to teach her how to back this boat up so that she can put the trailer in the water for me. That way I don't have to run back and forth to do all that stuff. So uh, let's open this thing up and take a look at what it looks like in here pretty bad to be honest with you get rid of my throwable here you can see down in there let me grab this uh, if I get way down in there you can see it looks pretty gross got some that black stuff you're seeing down in that area right there is oil and you know grime from from lakes and stuff you see a lot more of it down in here all that stuff right there I'm hoping that it comes out I'm going to take a rag with the bilge cleaner and get up and around this area right here. Um, I'm not going to have it run up in there, obviously, because that's my battery charger. I'm just going to fill it, uh, the bilge up with water. I'm going to put the the bilge cleaner down in here first. So I'm going to put uh, roughly two ounces of bilge cleaner in here, and then I'm going to fill it up with water. Again, I'm doing it that way because I want the water to dilute this bilge cleaner concentrate all collectively um, so that way it's all mixed together and everything so I'm gonna make sure my plugs in I'm going to put two ounces of this in my hole in my bilge down there fill it up to roughly the top of the bilge here I'm not gonna fill it really close to the top because again I don't want to splash it in here on my batteries or my battery charger you can see over here how nasty the top of my two-stroke container is and the top of that hydraulic the Bob's the Bob's hydraulic jack plate is there on top of that stuff on he's clean but this is a before I'm gonna take a couple pictures here so you guys can see it and then we're going to go do some uh, training and learning and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna drain this into a bucket and I'm gonna get rid of it uh-huh repurposing two ounce sake shot glass bilge cleaner
All right, let's get out. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What? I'm ready. Sure? Yeah, I'm I nervous. I don't know. I, I think I need a beer. <laughs> I need to get my, my nerves calmed down. So, yeah, um, like I said, we're headed over to my high school parking lot where I work, which obviously is not in session right now because of the coronavirus stuff going on. So we're going to take advantage of no cars being in that parking lot and we're going to teach Misty how to back the boat. Again, I told you guys tip number one and I'm going to tell Misty right now, the deal is is to not to overcompensate when you see the turn, when you see the, the trailer start turning or start making its motion. Um, the natural thing to do is want to spin the wheel a bunch to try to compensate for that and that is not, it's going to get you in trouble more than it's going to help you. It's going to cause your trailer to want to jackknife more than anything so uh, we're going to show her how to do that in little turns of the trailer or the wheel and what we're going to do is i'm going to drive around town here a little bit to mix that bilge stuff up and then it'll take us about a i don't know it's about a five mile ride between everything uh, my house to the high school the back way um, so we're going to let the the bilge cleaner do its thing and we're going to uh, get right back with you in just a second. Here at the high school parking lot, what I was just telling her off camera is that the easiest way to back a trailer, in my opinion, is first off, using the mirrors is the hardest way. If you could back, turn around and look and see, that's the easiest way to go, especially if you can see things. Like if you look back through my rearview mirror there, you can see my boat back there. However, learning to back with the mirrors is the best thing because you're not going to be able to see the trailer especially over bigger trucks like this 1500 ram with a uh, tonneau cover on it you just can't see them they're not long enough so learning to back with the um the mirrors is the best way to go so obviously have the steering wheel um and then outside here you can see hopefully you guys can see that zoom in here so it actually focuses on there we go so let's just say that I am backing up and I have the trailer going too far to one side. You can see that it's going too far that way. And if you look over here in this mirror, there's nothing there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take the, the steering wheel and you're going to turn it to whichever side that you see more of the trailer on, which is here. So I'm going to turn the, the wheel slightly this way and then I'm going to you know work my way back and as I can see so I'm still you can see the trailer starting to wheel back around now so I'm going to then kind of straighten my wheel up to compensate that a little bit so now I see that I um, have plenty of trailer over there so I'm gonna back it up a little bit and then you can see on both sides here it's backing up pretty straight you can see it here in the, the rear view camera So again, let's let's uh, overcompensate it this way. So you can see the boat is going too far that way. So I'm going to take the wheel and I'm going to turn it towards whichever mirror I see more of the trailer. So I'm going to turn it a little bit. I'm going to reverse. And then I have to kind of compensate a little bit back. Again, the number one thing that I see people do all the time is that they want to just really rip the um, the wheel, which does work in certain circumstances, especially if you don't have a lot of room to work with. So let's get Misty over here and give it a try. You ready? Um, I guess. So I'm going to pull it. So you can see the boat is crooked towards the driver's side of the truck. my seatbelt on because this thing will ding like crazy at us if we don't. Okay. So I'm going to turn it towards the way that you see the boat. Yeah, now, now it's swinging so you can come back a little bit. Yeah. Look at it first time. Okay, so it's kind of going that way.
All right, so come and talk your way through this. So it's at a severe angle. If you're in there, what are you gonna do? Right down the center line. I want you to compensate back to the center line and then back down it. You mean go do that? Or yeah. You tell me what? I want you to do it and tell me. Well, I'm gonna turn it. You can get in the truck. Yeah, I gotta get the mirrors. <laughs> Alright, so you're fine. So you're right. So you're right. If you wanna the if you want to straighten your truck up, you will turn it this way because I can see more of the truck. What I want to do is I want the rear end to come farther this way, so you want to have more of it coming this way. So you're going to turn it opposite that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alright. There you go. Now keep it cut. Keep it cut. You got plenty of room back here. All right, now start cutting it back the other way. Now keep on going. Keep it cut, yep. How you doing? There you go, come on back. Keep it cut, keep it cut, keep it cut. I don't know, keep it cut. In the situation, I'm never gonna put Misty in a situation where she has to back in between boats. That's not the whole idea of this. If that happens, I'll go get the truck myself. But I'm going to see if she can make it into this spot right here, close to it. Uh, right here, this little spot here. Let's see what happens. Congratulations, how do you feel? I feel like a winner! <laughs> so, we're going to consider this a win until next time. I think we might go to Vesuvius tomorrow, um, get out, get some fresh air. Don't have to worry about a lot of people being out there. So, we'll see what's up. I'm going to check on the bilge right here real quick. Uh, after that, I'm going to go home and drain this thing. Check it out with the Better Boat Bilge. So, congratulations, you're a boat backer. Yes! <laughs> Take a look here at the bilge. Again, it's been about half hour 45 minutes or so since we've been here we took a short um, so we took a short trip around town I'm gonna go back that way to get to my house but I can also see so I put just perfect amount of water in there so I'm super pumped about that um, it's you can see it's right at the top of the bilge actually maybe just a little bit too much probably splashing up in here however that'll be all right uh, again, it's been about a half hour, 45 minutes since we've been here, about an hour in the bilge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, drain this thing out, and uh, see what it looks like after that. So two birds with one stone, one video. All right, so we're back at my house. I got this big giant tote. There is some nasty stuff on the bottom of this, so not all this stuff is going to come out of my boat. But again, uh, there's two parts of this video one of them is trying to show misty how to back a boat and i consider that a win so far so hopefully here in the next few days we'll get her out there on the lake and actually have her back the boat in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this tote put it under my bilge or my plug and i'm going to drain everything into this plug or into this thing here um so there's a bit there's there's an issue All right, so there it is. I'm going to drain the stuff out of my plug into this, and I'll show you the results of the bilge in here, as well as what comes out.
initial look at the bilge since it's draining out right now. I can definitely tell a drastic difference in it. It's definitely doing what it's advertised to do. My bilge is pretty rough as far as the amount of oil that's in here. So I want you um, to take with a grain of salt that I'm going to have to do this a couple times because my bilge is so bad. But I can tell you right now that it's night and day difference in there compared to what it was. So we're going to let this thing continue to drain out once it gets fully drained. I'm going to show you the end result. And again, this is one treatment. Um, two ounces of water or two ounces of uh, the bilge cleaner and the amount of water that I put in there. So I'm going to do this another time. I'm going to go out and uh, depending on what it looks like, I can't really tell. It's still plenty of water in there. But depending on what it looks like, if it still needs it done again, again, because my bilge is really, really bad. Uh, I'm going to, next time I go out, I'm going to fill it up with water uh, and then put some in there and then we're going to go. But I'm going to show you the first result here of one treatment of the bilge cleaner from the Better Boat. So some of that sludge and stuff was from the bottom of this bucket, I assume, but the water there is super dirty. Um, so I, I know for a fact it's uh, working as it should. Again, we'll give it here another 10 minutes to drain or so. Uh, make sure you check your local guidelines to make sure how you want to, how they want to get rid of it. Uh, but we're gonna give it about 15 minutes here to drain and I'll show you what the end result looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys uh, saw those after pictures really uh, right there. I just showed them to you a second ago. Uh, my bilge is still fairly dirty, but I can definitely tell a difference in the bilge cleaner. We're going to again run it again a second time. The bottle even says if you have a really uh, dirty bilge, you might have to do it a couple times. So that's what I'm going to do. We plan on going fishing tomorrow. I'm going to leave it in there. We were only, it only we only left it in there for an hour, guys. What I'm going to do is we're going to fish for several hours tomorrow. I'm going to fill the boat up with water just like we did today and drop that bilge cleaner in there and we're gonna fish all day and come back and take a look at it so guys I, i'm very happy with the way that turned out with the first use of the bilge cleaner from the better boat i feel like it works really really well um, it's already breaking up a lot of the oil and stuff that's in there the one side of it is actually really clean compared to what it was uh, it's breaking up those big clods of oil that's down in there um, again, I have everything in this big tote down here. I have a huge industrial bag. It's really four sweep, but I'm putting that in the water here to soak up all that stuff. I'm taking it to a local oil shop, and they're going to dispose of it for me. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video of On Another Line. If you can, get out there and lean on. We'll see you next time on Another Line.